Rate of Reaction Graph Temperature by kscience.com Here I'm drawing a graph where on the x-axis is time in seconds and on the y-axis is volume of gas produced in centimetres cubed. We're going to learn how to interpret a rate of reaction graph where the variable is temperature. The red line represents a higher temperature and the blue line represents a lower temperature. For the lower temperature, initially the curve is not as steep. This means the rate of reaction is slower. As the reaction progresses, the rate slows down as the curve becomes less steep. Eventually, with time, the curve becomes flat or horizontal, which means the reaction has stopped. For the higher temperature, initially the curve is steeper. This means the rate of reaction is faster. As the reaction progresses, the rate begins to slow as the curve becomes less steep. Eventually, the curve becomes flat or horizontal as the reaction has stopped. Notice how the reaction stops before the lower temperature due to the higher rate of reaction. And they produce the same volume of gas as the mass of the reactants are the same, whether it's the higher temperature or lower temperature. This tangent of the initial rate of reaction for the higher temperature is steeper, showing it has a faster rate of reaction. Whereas this tangent for the initial rate of reaction for the lower temperature has a shallower slope, showing how it has a slower rate of reaction. We can see here the higher temperature reaction finishes quicker, as the line becomes horizontal before the blue line whereas the lower temperature reaction finishes slower. It finishes after, as the rate of reaction is slower. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. We're now going to focus on explaining the results, focusing on the higher temperature curve. So with the higher temperature, the particles have more energy. This causes the particles to move faster. So because of the increase in temperature, the particles absorb heat energy. They store more energy, causing them to move faster, as shown by the many vibration lines. Therefore, the particles collide more frequently, increasing the chance of successful collisions. This is why the initial rate of reaction is faster, as shown here on the graph. As the particles are moving faster due to the increase in energy, they collide more frequently and have a higher chance of successful collisions compared to the lower temperature particles. Not only this, but there is a higher proportion of particles which have more energy than the activation energy. This increases the chance of successful collisions when they do collide. Overall, the higher frequency of collisions caused by the particles being faster due to storing more energy, and then this storing of energy allowing more particles to have the activation energy this causes a faster rate of reaction, which is why the curve becomes flat or horizontal quicker than the lower temperature reaction. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow.
Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.